Hi everybody, time for December card class. I'm going to make them quick this month because I know everybody's really busy. Um, sorry, I'm in landscape uh, or vertical this this month instead of landscape because it said not supported. So it keeps switch Facebook keeps switching back and forth. So we'll do it this way this time, and maybe next time we'll be back to landscape. Anyways, um, this first one, I called it this our technique card, but we're, we're basically just using a tag topper punch and trying some different things with it. Of course, you can easily make um, bookmarks of any, any length with the tag topper punch, and um, this particular one is, it makes a snowflake for the topper. You could even do the tag, um, the snowflake on both sides to make an element for your card or your scrapbook page, but we're just going to do it on one side today and use it to put our green on so let me grab a kit um, the instructions are all up in the Facebook group and I still have kits left too if anyone wants to purchase a kit and maybe I'll pull out the um, the deer one here because it is using a different color I used both misty moonlight and smoky slate because they go really nicely with this beautiful paper it's called let's see winter meadow designer series paper so let me find one with a deer on it because those are really pretty or maybe i used those already let's see oh there's one with a deer so that shows you how pretty they are with the deer pattern and kind of like a almost a watercolor wash but i'm going to go ahead and use this one without the deer we'll save the deer for the in-person people here that are coming tomorrow for card class so let me get ready to go here and this one will come to be, uh, together pretty quickly. I'll just, um, actually, I'm going to grab one of these because I just realized I already punched the ones in the back for to send people for classes. So um, the people that order a kit, or if you would like a kit, just let me know because they I have those already punched. But I did want to show you how to use the punch. It has a little guide here. It's about two inches wide. So you just need to slip it in. And of course, you you can use any length of paper. I'm using two two inches by four inches. Um, you could make it as long as you like. And then let's use the palm of my hand there because that's kind of hard to punch out all those little pieces there. And there you can see the little um, snow snowflakes on top. So um, the greeting we're going to use is from sparkling snowflakes and this is actually comes as a bundle the the punch plus the snowflakes so if you don't have a nice snowflake set this one's really good lots of pretty snowflakes and then there's um kind of a two-step stamp if you want to do it that way and some nice greetings for for all winter long not just uh christmas so we're gonna stamp winter greetings and i guess we are using blue paper after all since i already um, have the blue one punched here and let's see memento black ink or if you wanted to match the color of the cardstock you could do the misty moonlight or the smoky slate that would be good as well so we're just going to use this tag topper for our greeting which is going to be winter greetings and it seemed like it just needed a little something extra so you can always pull out your gems. And in this case, I'm using festive pearls because I thought those colors went really nicely with um, these colors on, on the paper. So I used the kind of silvery ones for the smoky slate and the um, light blue ones for the, for the misty moonlight. And we'll just put a trio of pearls there because things look good in threes and then it's just put it together so let's see did I use dimensionals on this probably yes of course so we'll just glue the card together I'm using up again my um, old glue that's almost used up so I use the other end because it's easier to get it out and let's put the trees right side up on the card Aren't those pretty trees? Kind of looks like a foggy winter scene. And then my dimensionals. And then you can write whatever you like on the inside. And send some winter greetings either for Christmas or for after Christmas. 
maybe a New Year's greeting or a January birthday. All right, there we go. That one's easy. So um, I'm going to turn this off and come back with the next card in just a minute. 